Hey loves, this is Shreeja. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm setting up my bullet journal for the month November. Let's get started. Most of the time, I've seen that people do their October theme as a Halloween theme. I didn't do a Halloween theme for my October because Halloween is not a big thing here. And uh, when, uh, but whenever I see these Halloween themes, the spreads that others have done, the spider and the spider webs always catch my eyes. I wanted to do the spider web and the spider theme for long. So here we are at November with the spider theme. For the cover page, I did this uh, spider webs on the top border of the page like we would see if we open a door on the top we would have the spider website like that and I lettered numbers as they are uh, hanging down from the spider web like the spiders and I even added those uh, webs to the letters this uh, this form of letters uh, will be for the whole theme and I added cute little spiders inside them I didn't want it to wanted it to be spooky but it ended up looking spooky it's okay i like the way it turned out And the next page is the monthly log. I didn't want the whole theme to be uh, black and white. I just wanted to add some more colors. But for the spider web, we can't. Uh, for the spider theme, we can't add uh, bright colors. So I used the brown paper and just did the ripped out uh, edge effect. Just ripped out the page uh, paper and I added it to the bottom of the page and overlaid the monthly table. For the spider web, I used a grey tombow brush pen. I wanted to give a background effect. I don't, I didn't want it to be dark and black. Uh, in the camera, the color is too dark. But when you see it on your naked eye, it's light. You can write on top of it. It is giving that background effect. And then I added the spiders climbing here and there over the table. For the numbers, for the dates, I just used the accent color black, I just added circles and used my jelly roll pen to add the numbers on top of it. Yeah, then what, I added my YouTube growth tagger, I'm not doing that events and gold space here because we have space on the table to write out everything and I even added some web to the boxes inside the table. I, for that I used the black pen, for the bigger web I used the grey gray color because I wanted it to look like a background effect, I wanted to create a background effect there. The spread I did here is the mood tracker. The only thing I hate about this book is it always bleeds the colors. I can't use my Tomba brush pen or my Camlin brush pen other than the fine tip liners I can't use and the jelly roll pens I can't use any brushes over here because it always bleeds through. I'm covering up the bleeds with a white knot. I have to get a new notebook for next year. A better one. I I bought this la for last year. I bought two of them. I didn't want to waste it so I used it. I'm looking through it guys, a uh, better notebook with grid spacing uh, in a reasonable rate. I'm looking for it. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment box below. I'll get them. I'm also searching for it. If I get it, I'll let you know guys and I'll make a review on that. Okay, for the mood tracker, I added a larger web on top of the page and I just added those uh, brown and black paper here. Yeah, I have these three moods here, uh, sad, okay and happy faces on the left hand corner and this mood tracker works like uh, the spiders hang down the web right, um, just the length of the line um, refers my mood. And the next page is the habit tracker, for this time I didn't do those individual calendar boxes here, I just did uh, the table form. And for the sleep tracker, this time I'm recording my uh, 
hours of sleep instead of the time means I go to sleep and I wake up that's way more easier and uh, here also I added the web at the background with a gray pen I'm sure guys it's looking light and you can uh, write over it it looks like a background effect only in the camera it is looking dark And then I added spiders here and there. These are the small spiders with long legs and I added a small spider with small legs and I did another one spider type. I did three types of spiders, the large spiders and the small one with small legs and the small one with large legs. And then I drew these spider webs with my white jelly roll pen. It actually balanced out the white, black and the brown theme here. And the next page is the daily gratitude page. Yeah, I didn't do this page for the couple of months. And now I'm here with it again. Here also the I just did the whole page as black. And added some brown papers in the corner. I lettered gratitude here using both my Tombo brush pen and the jelly roll white pen. I used the white pen on the black portion of the page. Similarly, I drew a web on the left corner of the page using the black and white. So the white in the white portion I used the black pen and on the black portion I used the white pen to just to blend out everything. cute little white spider here <laughs> and the next page is the weekly spread the final page I just added that uh, background effects spider web with a gray pen here nothing much it's very simple and that's all for this month guys I hope you liked it thank you for watching loves stay happy here yeah yeah I'm sorry here is the final flip through Thank you for watching guys. Stay happy, stay cool, stay awesome. Love you all. Bye.